morning everybody. It's December 30th, 2021. About 9.15 in the morning. I think I got a couple hours on and off, but nothing special. So I'm gonna get some more rest after this video. But yeah, look, we got zero accumulation. And we're not even supposed to get a whole inch out of the rest of this whole day. So quite a bummer. Um, for those of you, because I am gonna be going to sleep, to sleep for a while, um, if you have questions about the road conditions, the, the best thing you can do is call 1-800-CALTRANS. And it literally takes you 60 seconds. You, you, you type in or speak the highway number that you want to drive on, and they'll give you the most up-to-date information, whether the roads are open or closed, whether you need tires, or whether you need tires, whether you need tire chains. Um, so yeah, that's uh, just in case, because I don't want to not answer any of, of those questions in a, in a, in a non-timely fashion. I'm gonna answer all the questions, of course, but I, I've gotta get some sleep, some more sleep, because I've hardly got any sleep, and I have to do this right now, so you guys can get at least a decent update this morning. So, 1-800-CALTRANS, type in the number of the highway you're planning on driving on, and it'll tell you exactly what's going on. My opinion is that the other side of the mountain range is probably pretty screwed up right now with tons of snow um, or just really, really wet. We got completely, completely missed. Yeah, there's zero accumulation from this 56 inches of snow we were supposed to get. I thought maybe we'd get like a foot or something, you know, because that's how wrong it usually is. But we, we still get something. I mean, they might as well say minus one inch because it's it's kind of raining a little bit and it's melting the snow. <laughs> so so we got like minus one inch of snow. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a good morning. We're going to drive down into the Boulder Bay area. Or actually, we might not go that far. All depending on the traffic. It's not looking too bad coming in. But at my house, on the way to the ski resorts, like to Bear Mountain, Moon Ridge Road was completely blocked. Com or just stopped. It was stopped completely from, uh, from Big Bear Boulevard, where Walgreens is, all the way to Bear Mountain on Moon Ridge Road. Completely stopped. And not one car coming in the other direction. So, I gotta kinda figure this one out a little bit. If there's not one car coming in that other direction and I don't live too far down the Ridge Road, I might have to go down go down the wrong way. But you guys know I won't do that, right? <laughs> anyway. What a bummer, man. It's raining a little bit. How crazy is that? But it is what it is. I mean, I wouldn't have minded if this 56 inches would have been like six more, six more inches of rain. So at least it would have helped the lake that much more. But yeah, I love you guys, man. I love you guys for all the support, all the help. When I woke up, there was a hundred dollar donation. I'm like, what is going on here? So I'm going to thank you, my brother, pretty soon, Mr. Schaefer. Hang on a second. I got to mail some stuff. Right, we just shipped off some beanies. And then we're just going to do, as I said, we're going to drive around a little bit depending on how much traffic's coming into town doesn't look like it's too bad right now but the resort areas like especially bear my gosh you guys it looks like it's, it's i mean it wasn't moving at all and it was completely stopped from big bear boulevard all the way down to bear mountain that's quite a quite a traffic jam but yeah we didn't get any snow and as I said, it's drizzling right now. It's 36 degrees, so we're probably losing a little bit of snow. Well, not probably, guaranteed losing a little bit of snow. But I still like seeing little kids up here having fun though, that's cool. Let them make them behave. Okay, so we're gonna go right here. We're not going to go too far because it does look like we are getting a little bit of traffic coming into town. I just don't want to get caught. 
caught up in it, especially because I got to get back to sleep for a little bit. Like right when I was falling asleep, my cat just starts talking to me and starts talking to me. And I'm just like, geez, like of all the times you could be running your mouth. <laughs> but he's my best friend, so it's okay. He gets a pass always. He was just saying, Dad, can you feed me a little bit more right now? He had some of his dry food in his bowl, but he wanted some more of his wet food. He just couldn't wait. So like a good dad, I got up and fed him. He eats the Merrick Perfect Bistro stuff, the wet and dry. And here's a snow play place, you guys, and a, uh, for sledding and stuff like that. It's called Magic Mountain, I believe. You have no idea how interested I am to know what it looks like on the other side of this mountain range. And then I heard Wrightwood and uh, like Mount Baldy area. They're they're getting hammered, or they got hammered by this storm. It just went north of us. Like I can't believe it. As soon as it got to our mountain range, it just said psych. It went left. It went north. So if you guys coming into town, it really doesn't look like traffic is too bad at all at the moment. You would expect by this time it would be pretty darn bad. So what I'm thinking is that it is pretty hard to travel on 18 and, and 330 right now because of this little amount of traffic heading the other way. I mean, it's shocking actually. So they must have really got slammed. Looks like it's snowing a little bit over in Fawnskin because it's white coming down from the sky and hitting the lake over there. But we're getting a little drizzle here. <coughs> Thanks again for all the love, all the support, you guys. You guys are incredible. You guys are incredible. And for all, the, all, of, the, all of you who have purchased the beanies, I'm hoping you're loving them. Because these things are very, very, very nice, very high quality. up this morning I didn't check any comments yet I just wanted to get this video made so when I get home I'll be responding to all the comments but like I said 1-800-CALTRANS to get the proper information and the most up-to-date information here come some more cars into town right now so just in case we're just gonna turn right here and avoid everything we're gonna turn around and head back and go through the village a different way Yay! it'll give it a different perspective So we're gonna make a U-turn here. It still looks beautiful, don't get me wrong. I mean, but all of this is from the first snowstorm. Nothing from this one, it, which is truly incredible. I mean, how do you get it that wrong? I always used to joke that another reason why I, I wanted to be a meteorologist was because I could be wrong half the time at least and still get paid. What other job has that, you know, has that, you know, good type of uh, a return, I guess. I guess working for government. <laughs> All right, look at that. So that's the other side of the lake. It's about taking over the mountain. This up, but for those of you that like Bugs Bunny and those other characters, Mel Blank lived here permanently, and he's the one, the original ones to do Bugs and a couple other voices. And his son, Mel Blank Jr., he lives here still permanently on the lake. 
um, and he took over when his father passed away doing the Bugs Bunny voices and stuff. So that's pretty cool because I grew up watching that stuff and it brings back so many good memories. I got to meet him at a restaurant one time up here. Just a normal dude. Eh. What's up, Mel? This would be your guys' drive in Big Bear right now. Still have your tire chains, you guys. But it's nothing like you guys expected. As I said, my only big concern for you guys is actually getting up the front side of the mountain range to get here. That's my concern. I think that's... Well, well for instance, one of our friends on, on this channel, they live in Crestline. And yesterday they were saying they already got like 10 inches of snow and it's just dumping. And so he was saying, just wait, you guys will get yours. And I was telling him, well, I hope this time you guys actually get more than us. Just trying to be nice. Well, it actually happened. <laughs> so they at least have 10 inches and I'm sure they got more because they were right along the edge of the heaviest part of this storm on the Northern part of the range. So that's my concern for you guys is driving up the front side. I don't know how far down it snowed, so I don't know if the 15 through the Cajon Pass and taking the back route in would be a good idea or worth it for you guys, but I would be willing to assume that there's no snow on the backside of Highway 18 back here, none. Oh, so these clouds are so beautiful how they roll in. It's so nice being so up, so high up because you can see these clouds really moving. Alright. That's a big machine. I like that hotel. We stayed in the biggest room they have on the second floor. I have it on my playlist for some of the the only playlist that I have really is uh, is the lodging playlist because there aren't that many. I think there's maybe like 10 or 12. So you guys can check out the places I've stayed and see if you like it. This is a place we want to stay. It's just a, it's a little bit pricey, but we're going to stay everywhere. I know I've stayed at some really expensive Airbnbs, but I just, you know, those were impulsive credit card decisions, not too smart financially. But yeah, this place, the club, looks really, really guys work their butts off to make sure you guys are safe up here. It's amazing. They really do. It might not seem like it because, you know, it gets dangerous up here, but my goodness, without them, 90% of us wouldn't be able to, to move anywhere. We wouldn't be able to go anywhere, even in these little storms, like the last one we got. Not this one. This one didn't have any impact. Zero. So we will do a whole village drive. We're gonna turn left here instead of taking the back streets because there wasn't that much traffic. But then when we get to Moon Ridge, wait till you guys see. And then I might have to shut it off if I have to do that, that move that I was talking about so you guys don't see me do it. I'm just kidding, I would never do that. I'm an open book. I'll let you guys see whatever you need to see. Something very sad. Also, I've mentioned it before, this place right up here called Crave Main Lobster. It's such a phenomenal restaurant. They were open for just a minute and then closed down. 
The owner is some young dude who had a great work ethic, very nice guy. Um, he remembers your name when you come in and stuff. And I'm serious, it was just so tender and so good. But I think, I, I, I just think maybe it was a little expensive for this area. Because I was paying like 22 to 24 bucks for a little lobster sandwich, but it was filling and it was really yummy. It was really yummy. It's looking good you guys just remember when the temperature in the evening time gets down below freezing all this moisture can and will turn to ice black ice so you just want to be extra careful and even for the next you know week or two when all this snow is slowly melting a lot of it's gonna melt right back into the street and then at nighttime refreeze so when you come up here don't forget that if you come up here a week after this last snowstorm, like in a week from now, don't assume the roads are good. Assume the complete opposite. Because as I said, as we still have snow on the side of the roads here, it's going to melt during the day, and whatever's left will refreeze at night in the street. So just be very, 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 very extra cautious. Summit to get to Evergreen because then we only have to make a left on Moon Ridge Road and there will be no traffic going that way. But wait till you guys see the traffic on Moon Ridge Road. I think this is going to work. I think this is going to work. Officer, who I called Officer Favre when we met, because I, I thought he looked like him, and he he was joking with me. He didn't like it, but he laughed. <laughs>
like I'm trying to cut in front of anybody to get a parking spot. So please, nobody get upset with me. I'm just trying to get home without waiting in all the traffic. I'm not taking any parking spots away from anybody. I'm not taking any of their waiting time away because we're not going to be holding anybody up. that I didn't like jinx myself though where they have it blocked off at the very end up here at Moonridge. That one be cool. I always love this house right here though. Always love that house. That one on the corner. It's a lot smaller than it looks because as you're passing it, it's super narrow. But from the front, it just looks like a palatial estate. I mean, it's a huge house, don't get me wrong, but compared to how, how deceiving it is, traffic going to the right. Yep. Bumper to bumper. But nobody going to the left. See, I knew this would work. This guy's not telling us which way. Are you going right or left? Because if you're going right, there's something going wrong here. Please. Guys, this is gnarly. You'll see it's all the way down Newman's Road. very much sorry we didn't get all the snow that was promised but i did the best i could for you guys and i always will the next video will be the aftermath unless we get some more snow today peace hey out guys <laughs> these are the beanies so i'm gonna post this short little video for both of the or for a lot of my future videos but yeah we've got all black these are all 100 percent fine merino wool different color patches on some of them too. Just absolutely stunning these are. Stunning, you guys. As I said, we got 96 of them. Boom shakalaka. So yeah, so these are these are the colors we've got. Hope you guys enjoy them. Love y'all. The reason I'm adding this is because I don't want any of you to feel like you're being taken advantage of. So you can see what I paid for these things. When we get down to the total for 96 beanies, plus the leather patches on every single beanie, the total is $2,609 just for 96 beanies. But they're all 100% fine merino wool, and it's not an embroidery on the front. It's a leather patch that they sew on. It's really high quality stuff. Basically, I got the idea for these from my own Gucci beanies. So I found a company that will make basically the exact beanie. It's the exact fabric that my favorite Gucci beanies are, are, are made of, which is the 100% fine merino wool. And instead of a Gucci embroidery, it actually has a leather patch, which, yeah, cost a, a little bit more. But I wanted to have really nice stuff for you guys. So as you can see at the bottom, that's the total. I'm only asking for 70 bucks each plus $10 shipping. So I'm paying like 30 to 31 bucks for these. And every shipping so far has been over 10 bucks, <laughs> but that's okay. Just wanted you guys to see this so you don't feel like you're being taken advantage of.